really thrilled that my sewing space with nice fabrics now smells like burnt seaweed. That's cool. We're back to experimenting today. Also, I feel really cool that we're in like my sewing space and it low-key kind of feels like a local news network, like a DIY show. Test out chicken. <laughs> That's why blokes. That's why blokes don't know. Come here. That's why blokes don't cook. As I'm sure many of you all are aware, I am going on a big trip across the pond to back to New York with Nicole and Dandy Wellington and other friends. And I am making a late 19 teens wardrobe to wear on the cruise and also just to kind of like jaunt around Scotland and not gonna lie. I have spent a lot of time researching and reading primary sources about the late teens, not only their clothing, but their hair, their makeup, beauty, cultures to kind of help me get into the mindset of what they valued in beauty, what they valued in appearance. It has sent me down a lot of rabbit holes. The rabbit hole that is also very mysterious <laughs> that has always been interesting to me is the Marcel Wave rabbit hole. A lot of you all are probably familiar with finger waves and how trendy they were in the 1920s. The more technical term for finger waves are Marcel waves, and they actually came into popularity in the Edwardian period and a little bit earlier. By the 1920s, that whole technique had been perfected, it had been popularized, and was something that everyone basically knew how to do. I have always loved finger waves or Marcel waves, but I've never really been able to achieve the wave in the in the way that I've always wanted, in part because I didn't really understand the process. And I'm talking about like several years ago now. Turns out that usually with Marcel waves, it's actually a heat process, just using a curling iron. And usually it was done by a hairdresser or potentially a lady's maid, maybe even a sibling. It's really not easy to do on yourself by yourself. Now you can use like, I have used and like experimented with like wave irons. I know from past experience living in Scotland and just like what I experienced here in like Indiana humidity, that heat set ain't gonna hold. So I need to figure out something that will actually kind of hold the wave, which brings me to what set. They have excellent hold. They'll last for like a week. Your hair always looks amazing when you have a good wet set put in it. It's a 10 out of 10. I found books, as you do, that have recipes in them. And you know how much I love a good historic recipe, guys, because it always gets weird. From 1911 by William Woodbury, dermatologist, Beauty Culture, a practical handbook on the care of the person designed for both professional and private use. And in this book, he actually has a few recipes on how to make your own curling fluid. What we're going to do today is we are going to attempt to figure out the ideal Marcel wave. Mm. Two curling fluid recipes. The first recipe we are going to make today is moss curling jelly. It is made with carrageen moss or Irish sea moss, cologne spirits, and orange flower or elderflower water. This looks nasty. We have our organic sea moss. Apparently people eat this stuff now. Let's actually hop over to the sponsor of this week's video and sponsorship Abby. So the sponsor of this week's video is NordVPN. I love NordVPN. I worked with multiple different types of equipment, whether it's your iPhone, your Android phone, Android TV, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. The connection speed is super fast. You won't lose any upload download speeds using NordVPN. In fact, they are the fastest VPN out there and it's super duper easy to use. No longer like clunky, confusing, is it connecting in Q dial-up modem like chaos sounds, right? No, 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 no. Nord is so slick and easy to use. In fact, I have it on my phone and I love it because anytime I'm out and about and I'm using like kind of just like the wireless around the area or even just my cellular data, it will put it through a VPN. Like it'll, my phone works with my Nord VPN app and I automatically am connected to a VPN in the United States so that way I can browse privately and securely and I don't have to worry about, you know, any sort of eye spying happening. We have so much information, sensitive information on our phones. So having that VPN on my iPhone has just been amazing. Amazing. I have loved every minute of it. And of course, one of the most popular and common reasons to use a VPN is so that way you can have the whole world, literally the entire world of TV 
at your fingertips. So if you are someone who likes to peruse international Netflix options, NordVPN makes it super easy to do because every country has different Netflix. Like they're all different and they're all, I don't know why, but they always seem better than the United States Netflix. But I feel like that's what everyone says about their country and like other countries Netflix. I think that's just like par for the course. Grass is always greener on the other side, right? So with that being said, if you want to browse securely, if you want to browse privately, if you want to enjoy all the Netflix in the whole wide world, go ahead and check out NordVPN. I highly recommend it. You can use the link in the description below. It's www.nordvpn.com slash Abby Cox, and you'll get a 30 day risk free trial of NordVPN. And with that, I want to thank Nord for sponsoring this video. And I do believe it is time to get back to some questionable hair gel making. Soak the moss and water under a gentle heat until dissolved. Strain through cloth as in above and lastly add the essential water. When do you add the alcohol? So I think what we're gonna do is we are going to use a pint of water, just normal water, and then I'm gonna put the moss in the water. <laughs> oh God, I really hate you. <laughs> This, this shit is so nasty. Like, it's weird and gummy and it smells bad and... Ugh. That up. I'm not gonna do it tonight. I gotta deal with this stuff. It's early in the morning here, so it's the next day. I don't have makeup on, I don't care. Don't need makeup. But I completely scorched the sea moss and I was going to scrap it, but I literally had Chrissy in the group text being like, no, I want to know what happens. So I'm trying it again. <laughs> I'm not doing it down here. So currently it's on my gas cooktop in a double boiler. All right, nasty sea moss check. It's been almost an hour. We're looking pretty good. That way the heat is gentle and it's steady and I shouldn't have to worry about the water evaporating so quickly. So the quince seeds immediately got a mucus like coating over them to protect the seed. Like immediately, that is cool. The quince seeds has done its three hour over hot gentle heat Thing with water and it is definitely viscousy. It's not like super clumpy, but it is viscousy. So we are going to finish making that one up. Soaked in hot water for about three hours, then strain using a cheesecloth and add the resulting liquid to the cologne water to which the essential oil has been added. It has this sort of like almondy, like citrusy scent to it. It kind of smells like marzipan. That chemical reaction is really cool though. Oh, I wish Chrissy was here right now. Oh, it almost has like this pearlescent quality to it. Wow, wow. Open seed version is ready. The sea moss is like basically done. I cooked this in the, in the, the, the double boiler thing from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Doing its thing longer than Dolly Parton has to, you know, find that cup of ambition. Overcooked sea moss. Okay, she definitely has like some gelatinous qualities to her. She's just real gross. I'm still stuck on whether or not I need to add the alcohol to this because a pint of alcohol and a pint of water with this just really seems not Right? So I bought that alcohol for no no damn reason. It's basically what I'm what I'm hearing. And then I'll add it to the scented water. Add all of this. So this is definitely not the exact recipe. You tried. Part one of this grand hair goo experiment is done now. We just need to test them. To be able to achieve a wet set wave, you, you have to come at it with a slightly different technique. And so I was talking to my friend, Jenny Rose, who's Jenny LaFleur on like Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube. She is actually a professionally trained cosmetologist. 
and hair designer, hairdresser, makeup artist, all of that. I, you know, I was asking her, I was like, well, what do you, th how do you think this is done? She's actually been working on a, um, the Art of the Curl co online course. She used to teach this at like Costume College, but she's been working on it for like an online course. And so she actually like created a whole tutorial for me to follow. For the best results, you want your hair to be thoroughly wet to start. You want it to be sopping wet, towel dry. How am I supposed to get this on my hair? And then add the prep products of your choice. It smells like people. I also like have no concept of like how much I've got in my hair because my hair is so wet. Whoa, that's a lot. I mean, at least like the awful sea moss smell is like not there anymore. It is completely taken over by the orange blossom water, which is just fine. The instructions do not match the ingredient list. So obviously, I, I genuinely am like, okay, this is obviously not meant to go together, but it's somehow did. Okay. It's just she's goopy, but I'm having a hard time getting her out. There we go. So you can see there's a lot more stick. We're going to start by sectioning out the front from the back by starting at the top and going to behind the ear. You're now going to subdivide that front section into three, creating a triangle at the top. And this is where all my gray hairs will come out and be like, hello! Starting at the sides, you're going to subdivide these sections into two or three. Today, I'm using modern flexible curling rods as they're easier to find, easier to use, and a lot less expensive than the antique version. They kind of look similar to some historic options, but they're obviously modern. They use modern materials and so they're a little bit more gentle on hair because a lot of the wave irons that you could use were like metal or like rubber and not in like a good kind but in kind of like a probably smells like a elementary school gym sort of way. Which you know isn't quite the vibe. To make your waver just simply bend your flexible rod curler over your finger to create a nice soft U. You're gonna start by going away from the face and then continue in an over under weaving motion. Well, I think this side's. Once all of your wavers are in and they've been pinned into place and it's all comfortable for you to sleep on, you're good to go in the front. When your hair is dry, you simply remove the elastic. I think I should be able to just slide. We got the bounce. We got the bounce, baby. Frizziness is definitely like a part of like the teens. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just, this is like. Majesty, Paolo is exhausted because Majesty, only Paolo can take this and this and give you. I think this is in part <laughs> user error. Final thoughts on the sea moss. I wasn't outside for super long because it is like really, really hot and humid. There's still definitely like a wave there, but this is nothing like what it was when it came out of the rollers. Obviously it hadn't set long enough. It wasn't, my hair maybe was not, it felt dry, but it might not have been completely dry. Obviously sleeping on something for eight hours, it's gonna be in the curler for longer. It's gonna have a longer in the sun, nom 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 nom. Anyways, the recipe as it's described, the ingredients and the proportions versus the instructions that are given, I think they're for two different things. Um, because obviously like the cologne spirits was never even mentioned and it's a pint, a pint of essential water and a pint of cologne spirits to one ounce of sea moss. And we don't even know with how much water I just did a pint because that's what I kept seeing. I think if I was to try the sea moss again, and I won't because I hate the smell of it and it took forever, I would do one pint of water to a one ounce of sea moss and then I would add a little bit of like essential oil to it or just like a drop or two of like rose water but probably just like a couple of drops of essential oil just to give it a bit of a smell so that way it kind of gets that dirty laundry like that moldy laundry like ocean like kind of smell out of it. And the recipe as it calls for with the instructions given 
no, that this is, I don't consider this a win. My hair is holding wave, but how do I know that's just not because it was literally put up wet and then it dried. And so this is just what it can do naturally without any chemical assistance. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. I see you. Ooh. I just kind of put my hair up in a really quick, not so great 19 teens hairstyle. So you guys can kind of see the vibe. You can kind of see the parting's weird and, and I, I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing, but you can kind of see a bit of a wave like this going down my side. I was outside. It's been 30 minutes since like I, I took it out. There's no hairspray in the hair. Um, it's held up pretty well, really. I actually think this quince, like, hair gel is kind of awesome. Like, my hair feels baby soft. Baby soft. Like, it is silky smooth. No tackiness, no grit. Shampoo? Sorry for the audio, guys. I think my husband just turned the exhaust fan on because it's literally dinner time. So with that, I do hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for this video and all of our experimentations. Uh, Quincy gel, good shit. Links to the recipes will be in the description below, as will Jenny's Marcel uh, wet set tutorial. Um, it's fantastic. She and I are working on another project together um, about making this cuter. Anyways, uh, if you guys like hanging out with me, I upload every other Sunday. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, all that etc. Jazz, so on and so forth. And with that, I will see you all back here next time. Have a lovely rest of your week, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye. Crazy, wake up. I don't like this. I'm sorry, I've been watching TikTok. Everyone is so excited about Halloween, and they keep doing these countdowns to like fall and pumpkin spice in September, and it's just giving me massive anxiety. So. I'm really sorry that I'm not like super into it right now because when you tell me that, that just tells me how not much I have done and about the cruise and I'm just fucking panicked about it, so please. I love pumpkin season. I love hollow s Halloween season. Please do not talk to me about it right now. I need it to be July for my mental health. Okay, thank you.